this is Caroline from Crocheline.com and today I want to introduce you to Silas the Alligator. Roar! Chop, 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 chop. And he is the first of my creations of my alphabet menagerie. So he is A is for alligator. And this is a totally free pattern. I have it posted on my website and if you go to my shop and I'm going to post the shop link below, you can download the printable version as well as get the printable version for these tags which has got a little cute poem and from and to that you can use for packaging. So let me show you what the printable pattern looks like just quickly. It has pictures and it's all written up as well and I have symbol patterns so everything you need to make Silas the Alligator. Okay. And this video tutorial is also going to show you step-by-step step how to do him. So you will have an alligator that looks just like mine. And it's a two-part video, so this is part one. And don't forget to watch part two because otherwise it would be too long in one video. So what do you need to make Silas the Alligator? Let's talk yarn. I used Sheepia's Katana yarn. And I really like this yarn. It's 100% mercerized cotton and it is shiny and soft and it gives the alligator a really nice finish. So the colors I used was camel and forest green and then for the mouth I used watermelon for the teeth snow white and for the ridges I used emerald. And if you cannot find these exact colors, Sheepia's Katana comes in an insane amount of colors. So just find something that looks similar and you'll be just fine. I'm going to put a link for where you can buy the yarn online below as well. And you're going to need a 3 millimeter hook and safety eyes. I have 6 millimeter safety eyes. So what it is is you have something that looks kind of like a screw and then you have a washer and that's what the safety eyes look like. So you need a pair of these and a needle for sewing in all your ends and stuffing of any kind to stuff the alligator and I like using this flathead screwdriver for stuffing. You don't really need it as optional but it's really great for stuffing the legs. So get your yarn and print out the pattern and your hook and all your stuff and let's make an alligator. Okay, so right now we're gonna do the green body and we're gonna end it with the legs coming out and then after we'll do the beige and attach them together. You're gonna start off with a slip knot. And then we're going to chain 41. Now we're going to do a single crochet into each stitch across into the back loop. So I turn it over and I try and find my back loops. And in the second chain from the hoop from the hook, I'm going to start single crocheting in each one across. So there's one. Two. Three. 
four. Five. Just so you can see what I'm doing very slowly under that one loop is where I'm doing my single crochet into. And the, the reason is then you get a nice stitch on the both sides. So because we're going to be working on the back of the chains when we get all the way across. So I'm going to do a chain in each, I mean a single crochet in each chain all the way across and then I'll meet you when I get all the way to the end. So I've done a single crochet in each chain all the way across in the middle and when we get to the last one I'm going to do another two stitches in that last chain to make it a total of three single crochet in there. And that is going to kind of U-turn our work and give us the ability to work in the back of the chains now. So now I'm going to start doing a single crochet in each of the backs of the chains all the way across. And I'm just going to work over my tail so I don't have to sew it in later. And this time I'm going through two loops, see? Just like you would a normal single crochet into a stitch. So you're going to do that all the way across and I'll meet you when we get all the way to the end. So I've gotten all the way to the end and I'm in my last stitch and I'm going to do one more single crochet in the last stitch and then slip stitch with the first stitch to end this round. And this is what it looks like. Now in the second row, I'm going to do a chain one and then single crochet all the way across. And then when we get to the end where we did our three single crochet in the last stitch, we're going to do two single crochet into each of those. So. I'm just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across and then I'll meet you when I get to this side. So now I've gone all the way across and I'm at the corner where I have my three stitches that all went in the same chain and in each of these stitches I'm going to do two single crochet in each stitch. So I have three sets of two single crochet and then again I'm just going to do one single crochet into each stitch across but this time we're not going all the way across. We're going to do 27 
stitches. So we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and twenty-seven. And that is the end of this row or round. We're not completing it. This is going to be the tail part. And now we're going to work on the rest of the body. So for the next row, what we're doing is you're going to slip stitch. You're going to turn your work and slip stitch four stitches over. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to single crochet. So we're going to do nine single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you're going to chain eight. And then you're going to skip four stitches, and then you're going to do six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And this is what it should look like. And what this is, is basically this is going to be the head part and the body. And these are going to be tucked in. All of the chains are going to be tucked in to give it a nice slender neck while the um, face is going to get a little fatter and the body is going to get a little fatter. So now for the next row, you're going to turn your work slip stitch in the next stitch over and then you're going to do four single crochets one two three and four and then you're going to chain 10. And then you're going to go to this um, single crochet, the first stitch after the chain, and you're going to continue and you're going to do eight single crochet. One. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this is what this row looks like. Then you're going to turn your work again. And then you're going to single crochet into the next seven stitches. Without a chain, you're just going to start off single crocheting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're going to chain 14. And then you're going to do three single crochets starting from the single crochet right after the last chain that we did from the last row. So there's one, two, and then three. And that finishes this side of the alligator. So now we're going to work on the other side, the other half of the alligator. So we're going to start from counting stitches backwards from the start of our row, so you can see how it's oriented. We've got stitches here, so you need to count back 13 stitches, and that is where we're going to attach the green yarn. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, Do a little slip knot. 25. So now we've attached our yarn and we can start. So I'm going to chain and then do single crochet in the same stitch that I attached the yarn into. And then we're going to be doing single crochet across, but not all the way across. We're going to do a certain number of st 14 total, and then we're going to chain 8, and then do 6 single crochet. So right now I've done 2. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And now you can see we're just about the same place, except on the other side. So we're going to chain 8, and then we're going to skip 4 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to single crochet into the next 6 
stitches. Three, four, five, six. And this is what it should start looking like. Now for the next row, we are going to slip stitch over one stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then we are going to chain ten. And then we are going to um, skip the chain space and then do eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. And this is what it should look like. Then for the next row, we are going to turn our work and then single crochet in the next stitch over without a chain. And we're doing seven single crochet total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to chain 14. And then we are going to do three single crochet. One, two, three. So this is what the green body of the alligator will look like. Now that we finished the top part of the body, we're going to do the legs for um, the alligator. So, first I'm going to do a slip knot, and I'm going to attach it in um, this top row, the second stitch from the left. So, right in here is where we're going to start. And then I'll put my loop on my hook, pull through, and do a chain to secure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch and then the next stitch I'm going to single crochet. So we've gotten to the end of this row and now I'm going to kind of push these chains out of the way and I'm going to slip stitch, or not slip stitch, I'm going to single crochet into the row under the last um, single crochet stitch right here. A single crochet in there. Like we're going down the side. And then in the row under it as well, I'm going to single crochet in the, um, le the stitch right before the first chain space. Okay, so now I have four stitches. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to chain three, 
and then I'm going to slip stitch with the first of the four stitches to end my round and that is the base for the foot then I'm going to chain one and start my next row I mean round so then I'm going to single crochet into each of the next four stitches one two three and four and then if you'll remember we had three um, chains so we're going to do three stitches into those chains so just pick out one part of the chain and do a single crochet one and then in the next do a single crochet two and then in the last one do a single crochet and then slip stitch with your first single crochet to end the round so now we've done two rounds and now we have all the stitches we need and we can just do seven single crochet there's one two three four five six and seven and let's make sure that we have enough let's see one two three four five six seven and then we're going to slip stitch with the first stitch to end the round see it's starting to look a little bit like a foot so I lied it's actually six rows so you should have six rows with seven stitches and now I'm slip stitching my last stitch and now we're going to do the little toes so we're going to chain and then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then chain three slip stitch in the same stitch slip stitch in the next stitch chain three slip stitch in the same stitch chain three slip stitch in the next stitch chain three one two three there should be four little toes and then slip stitch in the same stitch Let's see mm -hmm. and then we'll just slip stitch over and slip stitch actually you just you can just leave it like this now cut a long enough uh, end that you can sew in this part of the foot after we've stuffed it and that's what it should look like Now I've done the right front foot and then I'm going to show you how to do the left front foot. So I already have a slip knot here. I'm going to show you where I attach it. It's going to be, look at your chain, the first chain. It's going to be the stitch to the left. That's where I'm going to do my first single crochet into. So I attach the yarn and I do my single crochet into that one okay then I'm going to find 
the next chain up and do a stitch into that stitch. Okay, then I'm going to find my last chain and do the stitch directly to the left of that stitch. So these are all single crochets and then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then I'm going to chain three and find my first single crochet which is right here and I'm going to come around and slip stitch with the first stitch. Then I'm going to chain and start my next round and in this round we're going to do four single crochet and then we will do a single crochet into each of the three chains for a total of seven just like the last one so those are my four and then here I have my chain I'm just going to insert my hook into one of the parts of the chain and do one in each chain. Okay, and then slip stitch with the first stitch to end your round. And now we should have seven single crochet stitches, so we should be able to easily do um, a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, and then slip stitch with your first stitch to end the round. So I've done three row, rounds, and I want to have six in total, so you're going to do the same thing as the last row another three times, and I'll meet you there. So I've done six rounds total for the feet, and that's including the starting row, and now I'm ready to do the little toes. So I'm going to chain and slip stitch into the next stitch. and then chain three, slip stitch in the same stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, chain three, slip stitch in the same stitch, and then slip stitch in the next stitch, chain three, slip stitch in the same stitch, And then slip stitch in the next stitch. We have one, two, three toes. We need one more. Then chain three. Slip stitch in the same stitch. And then slip stitch in the next stitch. And then right now you can just cut a long enough tail for you to be able to sew in the hole after you've stuffed it and the little foot is done. So now you should have two feet and this is what it looks like. There's like a little pocket and this is where we're going to stuff them. And now we're going to do the back legs. The back legs are a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about the chains around the neck. So let's do a slip stitch. And then we're going to attach the yarn in this stitch right here. And this is basically one stitch to the right of this row. So basically the furthest one that doesn't have anything in it. Okay. 
And I'm just going to attach the yarn, the chain, and then I'm going to single crochet in the same spot, and then I'm going to single crochet into the side of this row. So there are two rows next, right here. There's one row here, and then there's one on top. So I'm going to do it into the side of this row, which is the next row up, and then I'm going to do one on top of the topmost row, and then one over from that. Okay, so I should have four stitches. And then we're going to chain four. And then I'm going to slip stitch with the first stitch. And that will end my first round. So for the next round, I'm going to chain and then single crochet into the four stitches. So one two, three, four, and then I'm going to do a single crochet into each of the four chains. So again, I'm just going to do it into um, a piece of each chain. Two, three, four, and then I'm going to find my first stitch and slip stitch. Just like that. And now we should have eight stitches that we can work on top of. So for the next round, I'm going to chain and then do eight single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to slip stitch with the first stitch to end our round. So you're going to do this another six times so that you have nine rows in total and then we'll do the toes. So I'm almost at the end of my seventh round and at the seventh round what we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet decrease. So we're going to do two single crochet together in the last two stitches and this is going to make the alligator's um, leg a little bit thinner at the end. And that's a decrease. So basically you have two stitches that turn into one stitch on top. So now we should have seven stitches. So then you're going to slip stitch with the first stitch and then do for the last two rounds, seven single crochet.
So now that we've gone to our last round, we're going to do the toes. So it's going to be exactly like we did for the other foot. We're going to chain, single crochet, uh, slip stitch over, and then chain three, single crochet in the same stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, single crochet in the same stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, single crochet in the same stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, single crochet in the same stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and cut your yarn. And leave enough that you can sew in the foot after we stuff it. Okay, and then we've got one foot left. So I'm going to slip stitch and attach, I mean, slip knot and attach it to the second from the left stitch on the top. So not this stitch into this stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet in the same stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch and then I'm going to single crochet in the stitch from the row below here and then into the first stitch here okay. so those are my four stitches and then I'm going to chain four And then I'm going to slip stitch with the first single crochet to end my round. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing as the other leg. So we're going to do four single crochet. And then we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch, I mean each of the chains. So I should have one, two, and then three, and four. And then I'm going to slip stitch with the first stitch to end my round. So those are two rows, I mean rounds I've done. Now I need to do another five, which have eight single crochet, five rows. Then we'll do the decrease. So I'll meet you after five more rows. Now I'm on the last two stitches of round seven. So I'm going to do two single crochet together here, which is like this. I have three loops and I'm going to pull through all three loops and this turns those two stitches into one and that'll make the arms or no the legs a little bit thinner at the end okay so that was round seven now we're going to do two more rounds of um, this time seven single crochet because we did a decrease so I will meet you 
after I'm done with the next two. So now I'm at the last round, which is round nine, and I'm going to do the little toes. So I'm going to chain, single crochet, uh, I mean slip stitch into the next stitch, and then chain three, slip stitch in the same stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, chain three, and slip stitch in the same stitch, and then slip stitch into the next stitch, chain three, slip stitch in the same stitch, and then slip stitch in the next stitch, chain three, and then going to slip stitch in the same stitch, slip stitch in the next stitch, and then I'm going to cut my end, and there's the last foot. Okay, so now we have a big mess of ends, but that's okay. We'll deal with them after we do the belly. I'll show you how I like to deal with them. And this is what it should look like. <laughs> 